The Urban League turns 85 in 2023, and they've got some big goals for the year ahead. Here to tell us more about those efforts locally is Classy Duncan, the Vice President of the Urban League Louisiana Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. 85 years, that's a pretty big accomplishment, <laughs> and I'm sure you all are going to try to do it up big in 2023. What are some yeah. of the priorities for the Urban League this year? We're going strong. Again, the Urban League of Louisiana, 85th anniversary. We are so proud of the legacy and looking forward to 2023 and some big things. Uh, we want to focus in and ramp up our priorities on economic empowerment. We want to focus in on our policy priorities and we also want to focus in on those things that we know can create generational wealth for our community. And so again, we're excited about 2023. Lots of events happening, lots of programming happening and so can't wait to to deliver what's in store. Absolutely. And am I right that you have an event going on this week <clears throat> on Thursday? Tell me what that's about. Yes. So this is our annual event. This is our annual Opportunities Outlook event uh, for DBE contractors, our disadvantaged business enterprises. Each year we host this event to, one, encourage um, our small businesses to really start thinking about their business development plans and also to learn about upcoming bid opportunities from um, government agencies, um, from um, a lot of our prime contractors to perform as subcontractors. Again, it's an amazing opportunity for us to connect our small businesses with the procurement opportunities that are coming for 2023 and beyond. That's happening on this Thursday um, from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. at the Regional Transportation Management Center. That's at 10 Veterans Boulevard. So perfect. I love it. So tell me, what, what are some other things that the center that you work with is doing to help black and minority owned businesses? You know, that's the name of the game for us is to really create um, and, and to utilize entrepreneurship as a pathway to generational wealth creation. But we know that a lot of folks want to start a business, but our goal is to make, make sure that our businesses are not only starting the right way, but they're also scaling their businesses so that that those businesses can last beyond the life of the owner. And we know that that's just one piece of how generational wealth is created. We have a lot of programs that we're, we're um, delivering this year. One of the most important things is that the Urban League of Louisiana, again, is a statewide entity. So that means that our programming is going out across the state of Louisiana. Right now, we have a program going on, our Startup Louisiana in Hammond. We have programs coming up, our Scale Up Louisiana program, which we just finished in Shreveport. There's lots going on, lots to continue as we expand our programming. But it's so wonderful um, to meet businesses in areas across the state who say, hey, we're under-resourced. Hey, we're looking for services. Hey, we're looking for support. And we're able to, to work with them and deliver on those things. So it's so exciting. We're so proud and excited as, again, as we celebrate this 85th year of service. I was going to say, as I told you during the commercial break, if you've been around 85 years, you're doing something right. So we, <laughs> right. we so appreciate you being here this morning to Absolutely. talk about that event and just more of what you all do in the community. We'll be sure to put this interview online so you can learn more about that. But we do want you to take a look at your screen real quick because here are the details for Thursday's event. One more time, it's taking place at the Regional Transportation Management Center on Veterans Boulevard in New Orleans. That's from 1 to 4 p.m. That is free and open to the public. Thank you again for being here, Classy. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much for having me.